Let's stop you from losing affiliate sales to a slow loading domain. Howie Perks here. Uh, what I want to do in this video is I want to show you how to afford your brand new domain name to your affiliate link and it's going to load lightning fast for you. I actually just learned this the other day and I changed all my domains. So I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you can do it. Um, so let's just get right into it. Let me go ahead and minimize my head here. So I'm inside of where I bought my domain name. Um, I actually recommend going over to Namecheap if you're going to buy and I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you how you can find um, some really good domain names if you're kind of stuck on, okay, well, I want to promote XYZ product. What domain should I use? And, you know, this, this, this tool is really, really cool. And I'm going to do a longer video on the tool as well um, and show you how you can find that good domain name, where to buy it. And then how to forward it and you'll see lightning fast it'll load really 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 quickly so this is a great way to do it i did an older video on my channel on how to forward a domain name um but this is a way better uh, way to do it so that it'll load lightning fast for you and it's super simple to set up so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your um your your dns for wherever you bought your domain name um, this is where I bought mine. I'm actually going to redo it. I'm going to do um, Digital Marketing Mojo. Right now, Digital Marketing Mojo goes to a another page, and I want I wanted to redirect to the Multiple Income Funnel, which is my main affiliate program that's helping promote my main business because it, you know, four income streams in one. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to need to do, so even before I do that, let's talk about getting a domain name. So a site that um, is really helpful, it's called bustaname.com. Um, if you've never heard of it before, I'm, I'm going to show you real quick what you can do. Let's just say, um, you know, just add a bunch of words here like my, um, let's go ahead and put affiliate in there. My affiliate, if I can spell correctly, let me go ahead and back up a little bit. My affiliate, just think about a couple words to go ahead and put in there. And what it's going to do, it's going to combine your words. And you're going to want to do a .com. Obviously, there's a lot of different um you know options here dot net dot org dot info dot biz um i did my join howie dot biz because somebody already had joined howie and i think i'm going to change that because people are just used to seeing that dot com um so i want to get back to that and i also just was able to get howieperks.com back because somebody was squatting on that because i let it <laughs> let it go a couple years ago and i'm happy to get that back and i'll show you that in a second so put a different a bunch of different words in here uh, if you're stuck on words you can go ahead and look at the um, the sales page for your affiliate offer or the capture page and pick words from there so you get that concurrency from your domain name into uh, whatever product or program you're you're promoting so we got a dot com you can even do it to do three words so to do two and three words and see what happens here it'll take all your words here and it'll combine them and it'll look for um, anything that's for sale right now sometimes you may click on one of these and they may not be available. It happened to me the other day, um, but most of them are um, are available. So what you would do is find something that you like and um, go over to, I recommend Namecheap and see if that's available and buy it on Namecheap. So you see how it did system my affiliate, um, my system affiliate, my affiliate system. And I'm just using this as an example. There's way more words you can put in there to get a really good domain name. For example, let me go ahead and show you um, some of the names that I was able to get from um, this. Let me go ahead and go into not name cheap um, Cloudflare. So this is where I'm going to show you how to redirect with Cloudflare. But I just want to show you I bought all these uh, the other day. Actually, this is an old I used to do SEO. So this this business here um, was, you know, I was ranking him in San Diego. So that's just in there. I don't want to touch that. Uh, multiple income method, multiple profits funnel, residual cash profits, multiple money system. Um, where I found those all on Busta Name. So just really, really great way to do it really fast if you're stuck. And then once you get your domain name, again, I recommend you go over to Namecheap to search that new domain inside of Namecheap. And it'll let you know it's, if it's available. And if it's available, go ahead and buy it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to follow these steps in order to forward, to forward it to your affiliate link. And I'm actually going to do it with my old domain, Digital Marketing Mojo, because I want to redirect that to a new page. So I'm going to show you how it works within um, this site. What I noticed by doing it in... Um, let me show you uh, what I've noticed by doing it inside of here. Um, it's a lot slower than when I first bought a domain name from Namecheap because um, I have the name servers going um, through this hosting 
Um, whereas when I bought it from Namecheap, I didn't have any, um, you know, I didn't have any name servers set. So once I set it right away, it was instant um, for it to, uh, you know, go right to my affiliate offer page, my capture page. So I'm going to do digital marketing, Marjo. I just changed Howie, join Howie.biz um, yesterday. I, I'm still working on my main domain that I'm going to do, but I want to show you here. So let's go ahead and we're going to go into uh, DNS. It's going to open up. And then this is where you're going to go ahead and you're going to change your name servers. And it's going to be different in Namecheap. Namecheap and it's, it's really, really super simple. I'm actually going to log into Namecheap to show you what, what, what I did. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to change name servers inside of this hosting. Again, I recommend Namecheap and I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to do, I'll use my own name servers. Every place that you have your domain name is going to be very similar. You're going to go to manage your DNS and you're just going to put in that you want custom name servers or use your own name servers, how they put it here. So now they're asking for name server one and name server two. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Cloud, Cloudflare. You're going to log in there. And you're going to add that new domain. So I'm going to add my new domain, which is digital. Let me go ahead and copy it because I don't want to misspell it. So let me go back to my DNS management. I'm going to go ahead and copy my domain. I'm going to go back over to, to um, Cloudflare. I'm going to add it. I'm going to, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong thing. Add site. <laughs> That's where I need to go. Again, I just learned this, but it's, it's easy. Um, click here, add the domain, click continue. It's going to add it. You're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to click on the free. So this isn't going to cost anything to lose, use Cloudflare to go ahead and redirect to your affiliate link. Click continue. And then you're going to see that the site is now added so that now you can redirect to, um, to your affiliate link. So I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to let it load here and do what it needs to do. Um, you know, as they say, wait for it. Wait for it. There it goes. All right. Now it's going to give you some other options here. We're going to wait a second, let it load. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. You're just going to click continue. You're not going to do anything on that page that it just showed you. And now you're going to scroll down and you're going to see here's the new name servers. So what I need to do and what you're going to need to do is take these and put them in wherever you have your hosting when you're managing. So these are going to be your custom name servers. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go over to my domain management. I'm going to copy this one in there. So that's Jack. And then now I'm going to go ahead and go back over to Cloudflare, click the second one, and then go ahead and put and paste that in there. I always always recommend copy and pasting. That way you don't make any mistakes. So I'll use my own neighbor's name servers. I'm going to click save. So now it's going to take it away from um, you know this hosting it, and it's going to host it on um, on um, Cloudflare. I'm going to click continue by continue consent. Again, mine's going to be different than Namecheap. Um, because of the fact that it's, you know, it's just, everyone's a little different. Um, but if you, so let's just say if you have GoDaddy or you have, um, some other hosting, just, it's going to be super simple. And if you don't know YouTube, um, something on how to change name servers for that particular provider and you'll be fine. So now it went, um, there. So now you need to go over to, um, Cloudflare, scroll down to the bottom, check name servers. Sometimes it takes a little bit. This is what it was showing me when I did um, Namecheap. Um, then click on these, just open those up, just save these. You don't need to do anything here. Click save, click save, click finish. And then now I'm gonna go back to my main page and you're gonna see it's pending, pending name server, name server update. And again, when I did it through Namecheap, these changed really, really quickly. Join Howie.biz didn't because I had it. I'd had it over in the same one here. Um, as you see, let me go back to my portfolio. You'll see I have Join Howie, so it was over here. So I had to do the same thing. So it didn't happen instantaneously, which it pretty much did um, when I bought a brand new 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 domain name at Namecheap, and then I did that almost instantaneously. It was live. Um, so now you have. The name server set. Now you have to wait, but now we have to add some page rules so that when somebody goes to your domain name, um, and or if they type in www dot your domain name, that you're gonna it's gonna redirect no matter what. So I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So you're gonna click on your domain. It's gonna open up another page. You're gonna go down here to rules. You're gonna go to page rules. You're gonna go create page rule. 
And then now what I like to do, you need to use this whole thing. So I'm just going to copy this from here. Paste. And then you're going to want to go down to forwarding. Forwarding URL. Um, I was taught to use the permanent. Um, I, to be honest with you, I don't know the big difference between the two, uh, but I just know it works uh, when you do that. And now you need to enter your destination URL. Um, and so that basically that's going to be your affiliate capture page for whatever program that you're promoting. You're going to want to put it in here. Um, so let me give me a second um, so I can go into my um, I want to I'm going to forward it to my multiple income funnel. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new tracking. It's going to log me in, logs me out. I love that it has that security, it logs me out all the time. I'm going to go to links. I'm going to go create new la tracking link. I'm going to pick my capture page and I'm going to put DMJ for digital marketing mojo. And then I'll probably go back and change this at some point. Um, when I, if I'm using digital marketing mojo for a specific traffic source like YouTube, TikTok, whatnot, I'm going to change it. But for this example, I'm just going to put DMJ. And then what I'll do is I'll find that link. There it is. I'm going to copy this link. Now I have my affiliate link. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So this is the page that I'm going to go to. Boom. And now I'm going to go ahead. I'm, I'm going to redirect that page to Digital Marketing Mojo. So we got the, the domain and it tells you exactly what you need to do here inside of Claire, Claire, um, sorry, Cloud Fair, Flare, if I could say it correctly. Then you'll go to Rules and then you're going to Page Rules. That's, where I, that's how I got to this page. Click on Save and Deploy and you'll see it'll list it. And now you got to do this one more time for the www. Um, let's go ahead and go create new page rule. And now that I have my affiliate link saved, I'm going to do this first so I don't have to recopy. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste my affiliate link. And then now copy your domain. And there's the www. They already have it there for you. Um, if I can copy it and paste it. Give me a second. Let's go copy. And let's put paste. Boom. There we go. www.digitalmarketingmojo.com. And we're going to go ahead and save and deploy. And right now, because I'm switching over from this other provider, like I was saying, I'm switching over this one. It's probably not going to show. Um, let me go ahead and go to my Digital Marketing Mojo website. Here it is right here. It's probably going to go to a dead dead page. Let's go, it's going to my old page right now. Let me Let me... So it hasn't done anything yet, but it will. And But it's, it, a lot of times it goes to a dead page right away. Um, let me go ahead and make sure I did this correctly. Go back to DNS, edit DNS. Let's go back to name servers. And then it's, it's good, so it's just taken a little bit. So it hasn't redirected it yet um, with that. So let me go ahead and then show you what happened with, so I'm going to go back to some of these other ones. So let's go to the multiple income method. And I'm going to go down to page rules. So see how I did multiple income method um, and then the www. So now I can test, you know, with www. Let me go ahead and copy this and I'll show you how fast it loads. And it literally, when I did it uh, after I bought it from Namecheap, it loaded, loaded lightning fast. All right, there's without the WW, boom. See how fast that loads? And you, you'll lose a lot of affiliate commissions if your page is taking a while. So say you're doing YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you're doing it, and then somebody goes to your link and it takes forever to load, people are going to go, they're going to lose interest. They're going to go away. But when it loads this fast, boom, you captured them. They're going to put their name and, name and email in there if they're interested, and, and you're, you're not, you're not going to lose that new visitor. Let me go ahead and try... Um, www. Let me go and paste. There's the www. Let's try it without since we already did that. Click on enter and boom. See how fast that loads? It's really, really super quick. So again, go to Namecheap. Um, let me go ahead and log in here real quick and show you how you do it in Namecheap. Namecheap. Let's go to dashboard. Give it a second to load. And it'll, I'll take you inside my Namecheap. 
and again, wait for it. This is where patience is a is a, a virtue. It's it's um it's loading right now. Don't know why it's loading slow. Maybe because I have a lot of things running on my computer right now. Let's try it again. Refresh. All right, let me just go to sign in. Let's see if that works. All right, finally we're in. I had to pause my video because I didn't want, want to make you wait um, for it. So now I'm inside, and as you see, I just bought all these domains. Um, it's actually the 11th today, Super Bowl. Um, excited to see uh, San Fran kick Casey's butt. I'm sorry if you're a Casey fan. You're a great team as well, but I'd like to see San Fran win. Um, my team, the Eagles, kind of fell off, so don't laugh at me. Um, so anyway, so as you see, I bought all these domain names, and I'm going to show you. I'm, I actually have it open already, just in case it does it again for whatever reason. But you're going to buy your domain name. Um, then you're going to once you're inside a Namecheap, you're just going to go over to Manage, and it's going to open up this new page. And then what you're going to need to do is this will be on one of these. I forget which one it is. I think it's on the first one. And you're going to switch it to Custom DNS, and then you're just going to go over to Cloudflare, and you're going to you're going to go ahead and go to um the the let me go ahead and go back and show you real quick let me go back to my main window you're going to add your domain name i'm going to you know what let me slow down let me go from the beginning so the first thing you're going to do is get your domain name um use bustanamecom if you need help find that domain name and then i recommend buying your domain um at name at namecheap and once you buy your name and your domain name at namecheap log in it'll take you to this page You'll, and if you just have one, click on the manage, it'll take you on this page, drop this down to custom DNS, and then you're going to get your um, name servers over from Cloudflare. So you're going to create a brand new account, a free account in Cloudflare, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to add your site. So click add site, put your site name in there, and click continue. I'm not going to do it because I don't have one for this example. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to click on one of these. Let's go Digital Marketing Mojo since I was just showing that. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your um, your name servers. So let me go ahead and go where that shows it. I don't now give me a second because I have to find it in here. Let's go to DNS settings. Scroll down. And then there's your name servers. And when you first set it up, it'll be there'll be a copy button. So I highly recommend you're going to want to copy the first one. Go back over to Name Namecheap or whatever one you're using. Paste that in there in the number one. And then go back and get your second one. Copy your second name server. And then go ahead and put that in, in, in number two. And then um, you know, you're going to be good to go. So now you have your domain name pointing over to your affiliate link. And then you have that one next step where you have to um, add page rules. So we're going to click on... Your domain, you're going to go down to page rules. You'll see rules, go to page rules, and you'll see the page rules I set up. One for the regular domain. Um, it'll be domain name.com forward slash asterisk. And then, um, let me, I'm sorry, www is one that you add. Dot, dot your, your domain name forward slash asterisk. And then the other one is just going to be your domain name forward slash asterisk without the www. So, Real super simple. You're going to see it's going to be blazing fast. Um, and that way, you know, when somebody goes to your page, they're not going to get bored and, and, and just say, you know what, this sucks and just move on. You're going to capture their attention right when they were in that mindset of why they went to your link. And that's really going to help increase those affiliate commissions. Um, so I just want to share this. I learned it the other day. I never did this before, um, you know, and I was doing it a different way. And this is a lot faster. And I was having a problem with a slow loading page, loading page once in a while. Um, and then I found out this, this way to do it. And I was like, wow, this is really good. So I wanted to share it with you. So if you like this video, uh, click like, drop a comment. If you have any questions, um, love to be able to help you out. Click subscribe. I'm going to continue to do more how to videos to try to help you with your affiliate marketing. Um, I invite you to click on the top link um, in there that says join LiveGood. That's my main program or check out the multiple income funnel. If you're an affiliate marketer, you can add any program to the multiple income funnel. It's really, really great because you have four ways to earn. So 
With that being said, Howie Perks here. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday, and I look forward to talking to you soon.